In this video, I'll demonstrate how to easily foundation piece a quilt block in the embroidery hoop. Okay, so here's a little bit of step-by-step -step of how this works. As you can see, I'm doing multiple blocks at once, uh, so I don't have to re-hoop. So they're all on the same um, foundation in the same hoop. I can just set up my screen so I can do these at once. This is the last one. So here's a little bit of, I've stitched this marking line and trimmed. So I know that's where I need to line up my next piece. finger press really well and then I'll stitch the next marking line so I know where to line up the next triangle and clip that excess Okay, I can trim, I'll trim this end. I can trim as close as I want to that stitch line, like where I still have some seam allowance, obviously. But I kind of have been leaving and then fold it back. But I've also just been not trimming because the white covers the, the print, so. If I just have my pieces right by me, they're ready to, to just add really quick. So here's the piece I just sewed with six blocks at once. And here's one I did earlier. And so now I'll show you how I just trim these blocks really quick. So I'm gonna just cut the stabilizer fast. Okay. And because they're not lined up perfectly, I'm gonna scissor cut them. It's out individually. So I would scissor cut and the way the stitching, this outside stitching is built in the quarter inch seam allowance. So this is a two inch block. So I'll square it up to two and a half inches and I can just use that guide as my, use that stitch line as my guide. And I'm not too worried if I cut on that stitch line. And there I have the perfect flying geese two and a half inch block. <laughs> 